Pokemon Horizons episode 17 just finished airing, and although it didn't have the crazy hype factor of the previous episode, it was still a really, really great one, dude. This episode was really just Pokemon at its roots. It focused on the bonds between Pokemon and how they grow stronger through training, so yeah, let's just really briefly recap the episode and then I'll give you my full thoughts. Basically, Roy's Wattrel and Roy's Foycoco kept arguing, and then Roy saw that Freed's Charizard and Pikachu were strengthening their bond through training, so then Roy thought, that maybe his Pokemon could do that as well. So, Foy Coco and Wattrel battled Captain Pikachu, but they failed miserably and kept getting in each other's way. And then, later on, after Wattrel and Foy Coco helped save each other from heavy winds on the airship, they began to form a bit more of a stronger bond, you know? So then, when they rematched Captain Pikachu at the end of the episode, they really worked as a team much better than they did before. And they even got much closer to successfully hitting Captain Pikachu. But obviously, they still failed, because Cap is on another level Dude. But despite that, Fue Coco and Wattrel are now much closer friends, and the episode ended with them singing a song with Roy. Overall, this episode was really just a nice, fun one, you know? I absolutely adore training episodes, and really any episodes that focus on the bonds between Pokemon, so I really, really, really came out of this episode with a smile on my face. Fue Coco and Wattrel are both so fun to watch, they have such amazing personalities, and I'm really happy that they're friends now. It kind of reminded me of that episode from AG, where Ash's Corphish and Grovile became friends after they kept arguing. And let me just say that watching Fue Coco and Wattrel sing together with Roy, that made me so excited to see Roy add even more Pokemon to his choir in the future. Imagine Roy and six Pokemon singing together, dude. That's gonna be so wholesome. Oh yeah, also the comparison between Freed's Charizard and Pikachu, a fire type and an electric type, and then Roy's Foy Coco and Wattrel, also a fire type and an electric type. That was a really good way to inspire Roy, Foy Coco and Wattrel to train together. By showing the similarities between Freed and his Pokemon and Roy and his Pokemon, Pokemon, it really formed a justification for Roy and his Pokemon to want to give it a go. We also got quite a few moments of Liko being nervous and fangirly and blushy around Dot, since obviously Liko now knows that she's a neato thing. Those moments were really nice and really funny, dude, and like it forms a really interesting dynamic between them, you know? We've never really had two main characters where one of them is a fangirl of the other one. I can see it making for a lot of funny moments. Finally, at the end of the episode, we got a brand new preview trailer showing some future events, like Liko and Roy meeting Kabu, and Freed and Captain Pikachu's backstory, and a few other things too. I'll probably make a video about it in the future, but there is one big thing in the trailer that I know a lot of you are gonna wanna hear. It's true, finally, Amethio is returning in the Galar arc. Amethio is a fan favorite character who we haven't seen since way back in episode 6, dude. It's really been so long, but he's finally back, and I hope that gets all of you super hyped. Let me know your thoughts on this episode and the preview trailer below. Also, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button if you enjoyed, it would really, really help me out. Finally, join our community Discord server using the link in the description. And I think that's everything. Thank you all so much for watching, and best wishes until we meet again.